it's Vanessa from The Life of Avax, and today I'm going to be showing you how to change the color of clothing or items using Adobe Photoshop. So let's get to it. So the first thing you're going to do is create an adjustment layer, and you can find that at the bottom right side of the screen, and it looks like a little circle, it's like black and white. You click on that, and you're going to click on Hue and Saturation and you want to make sure that you drag it above the layer that you're going to adjust. So I'm going to adjust Addy's layer, so I'm dropping it there, and then you want to attach it to the layer. And the way you do that is you just click Option and click. If you're on a PC, you would do Alt-click. So the first thing I'm going to do is play with the Hue slider. And this is what's going to help you change the color. So as you can see, depending on where I slide it, it just completely changes her skirt. I mean, it changes her entire layer, but you know, don't freak out. <laughs> you can fix that later and I'll, I'll show you how. So, um, I obviously want something more orange, so I'm gonna slide it to my right. To about 435 I think is good and then the next thing you could play with as well is the saturation slider and this either intensifies the color as you can see right here or it desaturates it um, I'm gonna go for more of a desaturated look just because I want it to match my blouse so I'm gonna bring that down to maybe like a negative 10 and you can toggle it here with a little eye icon and you can see how everything kind of changed. I don't usually play with the lightness slider um, just because I feel like it doesn't really target the tones the way I like it to. I'll show you what I mean. If I add lightness, it just really just blows it out and it gives it a really faded look which I don't really like and if you bring it you know to the darker side it just it really meets out the color and I just I don't like that at all so what I usually do if I want to either brighten something I usually go to the brightness and contrast layer um, which is the same place you know with a little circle click on brightness same thing attach it with option, click, or like I said, if you're on a PC, alt click. And then here is where you can either brighten it like this, or you can darken it. And I just feel like it, you could, um, as you can see from the other um, toggle I did with the lightness um, slider, it just, I think it gives it a better uh, look. So for this one, I'm probably going to darken it just a tad, maybe like a negative four. Okay, I'm doing um, let's go for a negative eight, and just darkened it, I think, just a tad, but makes a little bit of a difference. The next thing we're going to do is mask out her skirt because obviously I don't want her skin to be green. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the mask layer of the hue and saturation layer here and I'm going to click B on my keyboard or you could just click on the icon here. And that brings you to your brush. I'm going to click on my top left on here and I'm going to Click on the hard round. Make sure my opacity is at 100. And now you're going to just um, go ahead and erase the layer. You can adjust the size of your brush using your keyboard shortcuts, which are the brackets. So if you want the brush to be bigger, you click on the right bracket like this, or if you want it to be smaller, just click on the left. And that's like a quick way of doing it. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in. And like I said, I'm just going to 
erase this. Oh, and make sure that when you're on your brush that you have like these little squares down here. Um, make sure that you are on black and not like on a different color or white. White is to bring back something um, and black is to take away. So for example, I'm trying to erase this and maybe I went too far or something like that. So you just switch them, go on white, and that'll bring you back right here. So yeah, all right, so let's get to it. Okay, so now I want to obviously mask out the brightness and contrast layer as well, but I don't want to have to go in there and redo the mask. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this layer by simply clicking it, dragging it down to the little um, paper icon, and that duplicates it. And then I'm going to click on this layer the mask layer and I'm going to drag it up to the brightness one and you just it's going to ask you if you want to replace the layer mask just click on yes and it attached it then you just take the hue and saturation copy and drag it down to the trash and then just make sure that you link your brightness and contrast layer to the image so option click and there you go and you could just toggle that to see so you could see the difference so this was before this is with the hue and saturation and that's with the brightness and contrast so that's it guys now you know how to change the color of clothes or you can use the same technique for pretty much anything just make sure it has a lot of saturation if you use dark colors or just really pastel colors you won't probably be able to get as good results as you would with a color that has a lot of saturation. So just keep that in mind. But if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. And yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.